Hi guys, I have a special video for you today. This is an actual makeup tutorial and a hair tutorial. So it was requested after I posted my Birchbox vs. Ipsy vs. Play video that I do a tutorial on the makeup and hair that I had in that video. So if you just want to see the hair, I will put a timestamp down here so that you can skip ahead to that. Otherwise, stick around and watch from the beginning and you can see how I recreate this entire look. Okay, so starting off with primer, this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I really like this stuff. I think that it is super amazing. It doesn't feel silicone-y, which I like because I do not like silicone primers. And it has some shimmer in it, but it's not crazy. And it just kind of feels like a moisturizer on your face. And I really think that it does help with keeping my foundation on and out of my wrinkles and pores and stuff. So I've just been really enjoying this primer. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I love this foundation, but it is way too light for me right now. This is in light sand. And because I've been fake tanning, I am actually going to mix in some of this Do The Hula from Benefit and try to darken it up. Up a little bit. So I'm actually just going to do it on my fingers. So I'm just going to get a glob of that and let's see, a squirt of this maybe? That looks... we'll see. Yeah, that color looks okay. A little fair, but that's all right. And I'm basically just going to plunk it on my face, but then I'm actually going to blend it with my Tarte brush. And I just find that that is an easy way to mix colors without wasting product and then I still get even coverage and then buffing it out with this brush. I love this brush. This is from Tarte and it's just the best brush ever. You know what? I'm gonna put my hair back. Color doesn't look too bad. I'm getting kind of a medium coverage with this combination and this brush. This brush does kind of sheer things out a bit. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the color light, and I'm going to use this basically as a concealer and a highlighter. So I'm going to go under my eyes, and then a stripe down the center of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and my chin, just to kind of balance things out. And then using a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to pat that into my skin. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with Do The Hula again and use this as my bronzer. I'm not really going to contour with this. I just want to warm up the face, you know, and hit the tops of my cheeks a bit. And I'll even go a little bit on the side of my nose and under my lip and around my hairline. Ah, I have too much on this side. And then I can go back in with a beauty blender and blend that out. Oh my gosh, I got a little crazy on this side. This is not looking pretty. Let's just blend, blend, blend. Do the Hula is such an orangey shade. I don't think that I could get away with this, like, in the winter, but because I'm self-tanning and I do have that golden tone to my skin, it's okay for now. Okay. Does this look blended out enough? I'm going to do just a little bit of concealer on my upper lip, too. Brightens that area right up. Okay, so I think that looks pretty blended, right? Right? I hope so. For my blemishes, what I really like to do is use my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I just think that powder covers the bumps way better than liquid does. That's just me, so I'm just going to go over my little blemishes just at the tip of my beauty blender, because I just want to get just the smallest amount on there. Okay, blemish is gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using this J Cat Beauty eyebrow pencil that I got in my Ipsy bag. My eyebrows are already pretty good on their own, but they do need just a little bit of filling in. So I'm just lightly going in there. And then I love this little spoolie end. It helps blend out the product as well as get your eyebrows brushed out. Okay, so you can see it's a subtle difference, but it definitely makes a difference. And especially if I'm going for a more dramatic makeup look, I really feel the need to add some eyebrows. Voila! Super simple and easy. 
I am fortunate enough to have good eyebrows. Now for the eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is essentially set that foundation with this banana powder from Ofra Cosmetics. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia banana powder, but I've never tried that one, so I don't know. Um, anyway, I just like to set my eyes with this just so that it makes it easier to blend eyeshadows and also keeps my eyes from creasing. Um, I will also use this under my eyes for essentially the same thing. And I'm just patting it in under my eyes. I'll put a little on my nose too. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to use is Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. It's a wonderful, very warm brown. And these shadows are super pigmented, so you kind of have to be careful with them. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just going to go in my crease and go back and forth really lightly and blend from the crease upward. And go back and forth and do little circle-y motions. And I don't want this color really below the crease. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows so much. I only have a couple of them, but I love them. Okay, and then I'm going to take this flat brush. This one is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is Professional Makeup 11. I don't know. Anyway, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to use Shimmer Shimmer, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to pat this all onto the lid down here, right under the crease. And you could use any shimmery shadow. You could use a highlighter to do this. I'm also taking this into the inner corner a little bit, just to brighten up that area. Helps you look more awake and alive. And then just using whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna hit my brow bone just under my eyebrow, just to highlight that area a smidgen. Yeah. And then using this tapered brush from MAC, this is the 224 SF. What a name. I'm gonna go in with Unexpected from Makeup Geek. I love this shade. And this I'm going to do just in the crease to blend the two colors together. This is, you won't really notice this, but it's just adding a little extra dimension and it's making the two colors blend together really nicely. And you could do this same basic technique with any three colors really. And I'm not blending this up or down, just in the crease. There we go. And that's it for eyeshadow. Super simple and easy. And then I'm using this blush. This is from Pandora's Face and this is in the color Pink Carnation. And it's a nice matte, really rosy pink color. And I like to put it right at the top of my cheekbones, like on the back of my face. I find if I put it too much toward the center of my face, I just look clownish. And then just a little bit like right here on my nose and maybe a little bit on my forehead, just to kind of have the colors blend everywhere on your face so that it, it all goes together. I got the blush on the nose thing from my mom. She always does that. Now I'm going to use my Julep highlighter. I've actually really been loving this, and I love this fan brush. It's kind of ginormous, but I really like it. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna tap that in there and hit the tops of my cheeks, and then I kind of bring it down on my cheeks a little bit, just so it doesn't look like a stripe, you know? And the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this M Cosmetics water liner, and this is in the color Black Olive. And I am going to smudge this, and I'm just going to like kind of messily put it along my lash line, and then smudge it out with a little smudger on the back. Because my eyes are downturned, I always lift the end of my eyeliner so that it just brings my eyes up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use whatever's left on the smudger and go under my eyes. And of course, because this is a waterliner, I'm gonna use it in my waterline. What a difference eyeliner makes, huh? On this eye, I'm actually gonna start in the waterline because I find that your waterline changes the shape of your eyes so much that it's hard to match the upper line if your waterline is different. Does that make sense? Okay, for mascara today, I am using this one from Rimmel. This is Lash Accelerator. At least I think that's what it's called, because the name is all rubbed off. This is really great for lengthening your eyelashes. In fact, I think it's supposed to have some sort of growth serum in it. I don't know if that's true. It's not super volumizing, but it is lengthening. It's a very wet formula, too. I don't ever bother curling my lashes anymore, because it just... As soon as I put mascara on, that curl goes away, and putting mascara on does curl my lashes a little bit on its own. So, I don't know. I just don't ever bother anymore. I used to never put mascara on my lower lashes because I didn't like the way it looked. 
but I've been doing it more and more lately. And you could leave it here if you wanted to, but I am going to add some false eyelashes. False eyelashes add so much glamour to your look. You could do your makeup any way you wanted and you add false eyelashes and it's like bam, glamour face. These are the eyelashes that I used in the video. These are from Sephora. I have no idea what they're called or if, or if Sephora even still sells them. I was trying to find them on the website and I couldn't. I have no idea what these are. I just know that I got them from Sephora and you can see they are pretty winged out there. And then I'm just using duo glue and then I have this Sephora eyelash applicator thing too. And the trick to putting on your eyelashes is using a mirror and putting it like under your chin so that you can look down and put them on. I find that that helps a lot. By the way, I am not super great at putting on eyelashes. I usually just put them on with my fingers, but then I squeeze them together with this handy dandy little tool. You could use this to put them on too, but I usually don't do so well with it. And then this has a little, a little pushy thing on the end so that you can push it down. You know, especially for like the inner corner. Those went on pretty easily. I so often have to like take them off and put them back on and then I have one wonky eye and I don't know, I always seem to struggle with false eyelashes but I love the way they look so much. And then of course once I have them on, I can't wear my glasses. <laughs> Luckily my vision isn't too bad so I can go without wearing glasses. We started watching Stranger Things last night. Have you guys seen that? It's a little bit creepy. It's good though. Okay, do they look even? How'd I do? They look pretty good to me, don't you think? Lipstick, where's my lipstick? This is MAC Velvet Teddy. It's a matte lipstick and I love this lipstick. I really like the formula on this because it doesn't feel super dry. And then I'm just gonna go around the edges with Strut from Julep. And this is basically just to add dimension, especially because I'm not using a liner. And this is a nice, like, burgundy color. See, so it just adds a little dimension, helps make your lips look a little bit fuller. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to set everything with, this is actually, okay, this is a Willa bottle. This is the Balancing Act Refreshing Mist with Rose Water, which was actually a really nice spray. But what's in this is my Honest Beauty Hydrating Mist because the spray on this is so much better than the Honest Beauty one. And I think for the video, I actually used MAC Fix Plus, but I just ran out. So I'm using this, which is actually pretty similar. And I'm just dousing myself in that. And that will help meld everything, bring it all together, give me a nice dewy, fresh look. I also keep a small travel size of the Honest Beauty Hydrating Mist in my purse because I do have dry skin and so midday if I just need to add a little hydration, I just spray that on and it works really well. And that's it for the makeup. Okay, so for my hair, this is such a great summer do because A, it keeps your hair up and B, you can do it while your hair is wet. I hate blow drying and curling my hair in the summer. It's just too damn hot. So I'm always trying to come up with styles that look cute that I can do while my hair is still wet because I just got out of the shower because I worked out this morning. Aren't you proud of me? Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is, my hair's damp, it's not soaking wet. It's just kind of damp, but it's definitely not dry. I part it down the middle and it's not even like a super straight part, but I don't really care. I basically just take it from the temples up a couple of inches in and I section that part off and then I'm going to braid this. So I take three sections and I kind of, you know, angle it um, sort of like to the side and down a little bit. And I don't want a super tight braid because I want it to be able to have a little bit of movement because I do want to kind of puff up my bangs a little bit. The other side is harder because I have, um, because I did actually cut my bangs. I'll show you when we get there. Okay, and then I have these tiny little rubber bands that are actually for June. And I don't care that it's orange because you're not really going to see it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just from the temple, about the same size. This is my blue side. So the hair on this side is a little more frizzy and I do actually have bangs. So they get a little messed up in the braid here and they tend to look a little bit funky. Sometimes I'll put something in my hair, serum, mousse, gel, whatever I have handy to try to get it to uh, 
to not frizz out and try to keep the bangs in with everything else. Yeah, see, there's that piece right there. Ah, <gasps> that was a workout. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and this one, and I'm going to try to pull them back as evenly as I can and use my other little rubber band to tie them together. And then I can get rid of the orange one. So I basically just tied those together. I'm gonna to take the orange rubber band out because I no longer need it. And I am going to leave it in front of my face like so. Okay, now the rest of my hair I am going to put into just a basic high ponytail. And you can do this while your hair is dry too. I just, for my hair, it looks a lot cleaner when I do it when it's wet. All right, so I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, but I'm not going to pull the last one all the way through. So right here, I'm just gonna pull it most of the way, but not all of the way through. And then I'm gonna spread this out. Now I'm going to take my braids and put them back over and then I'm going to take the tail end and kind of tuck it in to this rubber band just like that so that they kind of hang swoopy down and then I'm going to fix the bang portion so I'm gonna pull my bangs up a little bit so that I have a little bit of a poof here because I don't like it super slick to my head there we go and you can use bobby pins if you need to to like you know if your braid starts getting wonky or whatever hairspray bobby pins, they work wonders. Okay, so my bangs are poofed up a little bit. I've got the swoopy braids tucked in at the back, and then I'm going to take a big old giant clip, and I am going to, whoa, this is quite messy, pull it up the back, and then smush this down so that you get this nice kind of messy bun look on top. Okay, and that's it. Super simple, easy do. And I've always got these little wispies by my ears. This little piece right here is starting to fall out, so I think I'm going to pin that up as soon as I can find a bobby pin. So that is the final look. This is a recreation of what I did in my Birchbox video that you guys really seem to like. Thank you for requesting it. It was fun to do, a challenge, but fun. If you guys ever have any other requests, please just shout them out. I am always happy to do whatever you guys want to see. And I will leave a list of all of the products that I used in the description box down below. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!